guys, Paul here, Team Crit here. Today, I'm coming at you with a deck profile. This is my locals winning Bond of Bravery deck. So, yeah, I won locals, I 2 0 everyone. It was only four rounds, it wasn't amazing, but still a win at the end of the day. So, yeah, I'm going to jump into the deck profile. But, as always, guys, before we get doing that, we are going to give a little word from our sponsors. Critic Game Hub is Liverpool's largest gaming store and stocks all things games. Whether that be Pokemon, Digimon, Warhammer, the lot, they've got it. Also using our discount code TEAMCRITHIT, you can bag yourself 10% off orders on their online store. Ultimate TCG is a store that stocks everything TCG related. Whether that be Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic or Digimon, you name it, they've got it. Head over to their website and use the code TCHIT505 to get 5% off your order. Okay, welcome back. So, yeah, it was um, around a four round locals I played in the first round was Ancient Troymon Green. Second round was Jessmon, normal Jessmon without Gallopmon. Third round was Purple Titamon. Then fourth round was Lord Nightmon. Um, yeah, too old everyone. It was the deck was really aggressive. It was really strong. It just seen everything when it needed to see everything. So yeah, jump straight into the profile. Let me know in the comments down below what you think at the end of the video. If you would change anything, give me some advice on the deck. But yeah, let's go. So my eggs is a three-two split of the Demi Miramon and the Coromon. So the core mon is just inherent when a, this Digimon attacks a player, um, it gets 1000 DP. I can keep saying in all of the videos that 1000 DP goes a long way in this game. Now you got the core mon. This is just the BT5 core mon, this is just the prize card one. So once per turn, if this Digimon has Omnimon or Greymon, other than Doru Greymon, Bane and Greymon, or Dex Doru Greymon in its name, trigger, draw one card. You'll see why this is here bit later on in the video but yeah that's my egg split and um, you could take one of the Coromons out and replace it with another Demi Miramon if you want to but I just like having options I like having the three two split in most of my videos most of my videos most of my decks sorry and um, let's jump straight into the rookies after this so we have the four BT6 Ogamon this Agumon is really good. It's really needed at four in this deck. I would not change the ratio of this. All turns, once per turn. When you play a Tamer with Tai Kamiya in its name, gain one memory. So, you play this, you play Tai, the Tai becomes a two cost, basically. And you've got your turn, while this Digimon is Agumon, Bond of Bravery, gain security attack plus one. God is really nice. It combos really nicely with Bond of Bravery. Okay. You've got... The promo Agumon. Uh, you're probably going to be thinking, why am I playing this? Well, I'm playing the promo Greymon that goes with this card. Um, so basically, this just does. While this Digimon has Greymon in its name, it gains plus 2000. You're going to see a lot of plusing because this deck, you don't really want to attack your opponent's Digimon. Well, I don't anyway with this build. You just want to go straight ball to the wall. No blockers, very aggressive, just attack the security. And um, so there's a lot of removal in the deck, so you will see why we don't really want to attack the Digimon. Okay, so we have this Agumon. This is the new Gallopmon starter deck Agumon. When attacking, when this Digimon attacks a player, it gets plus 2000 DP. So this bumps your on the bravery up to 16k. It's not really nothing in the security stopping it unless it's a Gaia Force or it's something that deletes or whatever. It's three cost to play, zero to evolve. Moving on. This is, uh, I, I don't know, Ogumon reveal the top five at the Tamer. Uh, I think I used it like six times and it hit one Tamer. But most of the other times it hit like a Bond of Bravery and put it at the bottom of the deck. One time it hit two, which was kind of crap because they had one in my hand and there was one that got hit in the security so we only have one bond to work with at that time 
So I'm not sure. I might drop this down. Maybe put some Flamemons in. Because I'm playing a Goonimons as well. So Flamemons, Concertia, Goonimon and A-Tamer. Or I might leave one and replace maybe a Ogumon Expert to recycle your Ogumons. And maybe the two cost Black Ogumon. I'm just not sure yet. I'll, I'll play around with it and see what I come up with. Okay. We've got the level 4s. It's the grey one. This card, this card is insane in this format. This card won me games on its own. It's so strong. So, if you combo it with any one of these. So, you've got all this. So, if you've got this, with this, and the Demi Meromon, that's an 8k security attack plus one. So, if it's got an Ogamon underneath it, it gains security attack plus one. This gives it 2k, gives it 7, and then you've got the demi one which pushes it to 8k. Um, if your opponent, this doesn't die in the check, your opponent needs to deal with this card. It's it's super strong. This won me about 2, 3, 4 games on its own. Um, then obviously the demi one if it's, this, is on, this is the reason why it's here. This is under instead, you swing, you gain a, you get a draw. Uh, I would not change this card. This is so strong. Uh, this Ogumon basically does the same as this 2k buff, so yeah, that's why they are there. Yeah, I know I keep saying it, but honestly, play this Greymon in this deck. It's so strong. Uh, moving on. We've got the new security card from the Galatmon deck, is the Geo Greymon. This card is. Very good. Aim um, security at the end of the battle. Play this card without playing its mem without paying its memory cost. And on play, delete one of your opponents. Did one with four thousand DP or less. Six cost to play. Two to evolve. Five K DP. This saved me in about two games. Um, I played it out. I think it was into the Jessmon player. He was about to swing with a Hookmon for game. He hit this in the security. It played out. Killed that Hookmon. And then next turn he had no security this swung for the game to be honest with you so yeah this is a really strong card plus you can always evolve on top of the Ogumon with the Koromon and it still counts as a Greymon for you to draw a card so if you do get them in your hand you can always evolve to draw and then attack to draw or you can just outright play it and kill a rookie yeah whatever. Um, yeah not really much to say about it um, so you've got four Agunimon. This card is also insane. I love this card. With the amount of tamers that we're playing as well, four is a lovely number. You don't really want to change this number. Um, so basically, you may digivolve this card from your hand on top of a tamer, using that tamer as a level three Digimon. It's two cost to evolve, five to play with 5,000 DP. This ends games. So basically, you attack with every earn. Get rid of all your opponent's security. Your opponent thinks, oh, yeah, I'm still alive. And you just go, no, you're not. Boom, on top of the tamer. Boom, swing for game. Um, it can attack instantly. It doesn't have summoning sickness if that tamer's been on that field for a full turn. You can't play a tamer, then play the Agunimon and attack. It needs to be on the field for a full turn. You've got two Magnodemons. 11 cost to play, 3 to evolve. You're never going to evolve it. Um, on play, if you have three or fewer security cards, trigger recovery plus two. And then when attacking, you may play a yellow level three Digimon card. You're never going to use that. It's all there for the recovery and for the swings. It, it, obviously, it can attack. It's level six, 10,000 DP. Obviously, with the tie, you, you actually have to get rid of security to play the bonds. So this just helps. It does not play in any blockers. You really need to keep an eye on your security. So... That's what they're there for. And then we have the big man himself. Four Ogumon Bond of Bravery. This card is nuts. This card is absolutely bonkers. So basically it's a 14 cost, 3 to evolve, 14,000 DP. And attacking you have a tamer in play, delete one of your opponents, did one with 13,000 DP or less. You're always going to have a tamer in play because you need the tide to actually play this. So you're always going to have a tamer. So that when attacking skill is always live. Your turn, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. So 
basically, you've got this with this, and say the demi minimum. So you got this. So that's a 15k DP attacker right there because of the demi minimum. It's got security attack plus one because of the Agumon, and it's deleting something when it attacks. So you swing, you use the ability, delete a blocker, delete whatever you want. They trash the top card, and then you're doing two checks after that, so it's hit for three security and all. Which is very strong. That's a very strong combo right there. Okay, so moving on. Uh, the option lineup. Like I said before, I'm playing a lot of options because we're not playing any sort of blockers. So we need help with the removal. Like uh, I said, you don't really want to attack the Digimon. You want to just keep attacking security and delete the Digimon as you go with obviously this guy and these. So obviously, Guy 4, self explanatory. It's probably the best red action card in the game. On play, I mean, main, delete one of your opponent's Digimon, and then its security effect is activate this card from the security. Um, Atomic Blaster is a new one from the Gallatmon starter deck. Choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to 8,000 or less and delete them. And then its security skill activating the security. So the Atomic Blaster, you can delete one 8k guy, you can delete two 4k guys, or you can delete four 2k guys, or you can delete a 5 and a 3k guy. It just needs to be 8,000 or less and you can delete them. Um, a little tech of my own here is this Trident Revolver. Like, I see a lot of other Bond of Bravery decks playing this Happy Bullet Shower. This is a strong card, but I, I, I'm being honest, I don't like it. I prefer the Trident Revolver. Obviously, it's a six cost. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less, then you may play a Tamer with four cost or less. So all the Tamers are four cost or less. This is actually saving me as well in the game, to be honest, against the Lord Nightmon player. He attacked with Lord Nightmon. He had a, a Pulsemon ready to attack after it. He attacked with the Lord Nightmon, hit this in the security. This was the last check. I played this, killed the Pulsemon, stopped me from dying. And then I played a Marcus after it, which then gave me enough memory during my turn to play the Bonds and win the game. So, yeah, that's the options. Moving on to the Tamers. Obviously, four tie, four Marcus. Obviously, tie. You can't really play any less. You need the four. You need to see this card. It's a three cost. Your turn when one of your opponents Digimon. When one of your opponents, when one of your Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in its name, moves from the breeding area to the battle area, gain one memory and trigger draw one card. So obviously, every one of our rookies is Agumon, so you're always going to use that. Plus, you've got the Geo Greymons and the Greymons. If you decide to evolve in the raisin, bring it up. You draw a card, gain a memory. Simple. So it makes the Greymon. A one cost, it can potentially make it a zero cost because obviously you bring it up, you get two memory back if you've got two out. This card is a very, very good card. Your main once per turn, Digivolve Agumon into one Agumon, bond of bravery in your hand for its Digivolution cost, in ignoring its level. If you do, trash the top of your card of your security there, then you have one or more security cards, delete that Digimon at the end of the turn. So, yeah. It's. It's really strong. It's a strong combo. As I said, if you if you manage to get this Ogimon underneath the Bond of Bravery, you're hitting for a lot of damage. So, you need four of this card, basically. You've got the Marcus. Again, the Marcus is a memory team. If you've got two or less memory at the start of your turn, put it to three. Combos nicely with the Geo Greymon and the um, other Greymon as well. Also, reduces the cost basically, so if you evolve this for two, you have two Marcuses out, you attack, you get that two memory back. Same with the Geo Greymon. Because um, obviously it's, it's, it's saying is, when one of your Digimon Greymon in its name, other than Doru Greymon, Bane and Greymon, Dex Doru Greymon, you may suspend this Tamer, draw a card. As all Tamers as well, suspend this Tamer, draw a card, suspend this Tamer and gain a memory, sorry. Um, as all Tamers have, they all have the security effect as playing them if they're hitting the security which is nice but yeah that's it for the list this is too old everyone at locals give it a try let me see let me know let me see let me know what you think in the comments below if there's any changes you would make if you enjoy playing the deck and um, but yeah 
That is the deck. I would not change a thing except for those Pokemons, like I said, those reveal the top five and find the Tamer. It's, yeah, I don't like it. You think you'd see Tamer more often than not because you're playing like, what, seven in there? But yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> but yeah, that is the deck. Like I said in the comments below, let me know what you think before we go. Yeah, we know you don't like it, but another way from our sponsors. Listen to these sponsors, guys. There's, there's some nice discounts in there. Like Crit, you get a 10% discount off anything online. That includes pre-order items. Why wouldn't you want to use that? Just get over there and use it. Why not? Saving money, saving money. End of the day. Um, also, don't forget about our giveaway. The um, 750 subscriber giveaway is still going now. It ends in about two weeks. All you've got to do is like, subscribe, and comment your favorite card. Jump over, check that out. But yeah, quick message from the sponsors. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Total Cards is a store that deals in all things TCG, including all things Pokemon with amazing prices on sealed product and singles that you won't want to miss out on. Plus, using our discount code TEAMCRITHIT1 on checkout, you can grab a 2% discount off your order. So don't wait round, get over and check out the links in the description below and see what's on offer.